everyone i'm back with another video and in today's video we have a lenovo thinkpad the model is an x280 and in this video i'm going to take you on step by step how you can remove the keyboard and how you can replace it and if you get a different layout keyboard from different language you can just purchase yours and put it in here i'll try to get the link for that keyboard for the us keyboard and i'll leave the link in the video description these are backlit light keyboard so if you some of the keys are not working we just draw some liquid on top you can just replace it really easy it takes probably i'll say five minutes all right by replacing your keyboard you're gonna not gonna change any configuration and you don't need to disconnect the battery at all it is not necessary so first thing first what we're gonna do we're gonna grab a screwdriver set i'll be using i fix the screwdriver set and we are going to use a Phillips double zero. If you get the Pro set, they include you with an opening tool. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. You know, guitar picks are suitable to opening cases on cover. All right, now that the, bath, the laptop is off, what you want to do, you want to grab the guitar pick, put it right on top of this key, like that, in 45 degree angle, like that. And then you want to just push it like that, and it will pop open like that. You want to bring it down in 45 degree towards yourself. Don't yank it upward. Do the same thing on this side, just put it there and you will come bring it down towards yourself. All right. Now there's two screws in here. These screws will not come out entirely. You just have to rotate, do a few hundred turns and that's it. Once you did that one, you want to grab the keyboard from here and you want to push it a little backward. I cannot push it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to lift it up a tiny bit, a little bit from here. Bring it up from here. I'm gonna push it towards the back so you're gonna see the keys are gonna get closer to the back end. There we go. Once they get there, now we can expose these hinges right in here. Once the hinges are exposed, I can lift it up very little bit, not too much, as much as I can just clear the casing. Once the casing is clear, I'm going to pull it towards myself a little bit until I clear the top portion. There we go. There we have it. Now I'm going to flip it like this, bring it like that, and there we have it. So, what you want to do here is a nipple trackpad right in here, and there's a keyboard connector. What you want to do you want to just lift up this hook upward 94, 90 degree. This one 90 degree. And then you just want to slide out, slide it out. And there we have it. The part number for this one, it should be here. Part number is an SN20P33510. Again, I'll try to get the link for this one. I'll leave it in the video description. Your part number might be different depending on your keyboard layout. So let's say that you got the new keyboard, you want to face it down like this in this position, make sure these locks are open, 90 degree facing upward. Now yours might have a little adhesive, this one has a tiny adhesive. You want to bend it like this, bring it like that, and you want to slide it right inside the connector all the way in. And then you want to lock it down, same thing with this one. Just bring it down in 45 degree inside the connector, all the way in, and then lock it down. Gently bring it down, fold it over. You want to bring a 45 degree angle right towards the screen underneath. Make sure the keys are hitting it. Bring it down, and then once it's down, just slide it gently towards yourself. Make sure this hooks go right under the trackpad, on the palm rest, I mean. Once it's in there, now all you need to do is to tighten up these screws. And pretty much you're almost done. There we go. These screws are just there for, for it to not slide. And there we have it. Grab the keypads. This goes in in 45 degree angle right there. And then push it down and it stays right there. Same thing here. 45 degree angle. And push it towards here. And there we have it. And this is how easy it is to replace your keyboard for your Lenovo ThinkPad X280 model. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.